Hello YouTube, James Baker here. Today I have a video with a, a gentleman from India. He is developing apps and he has a bunch of questions for me. He's uh, been reaching out and I'm just starting to get on these Zoom calls again. I, I changed what I was doing. I hadn't done any for like a month and now I'm back. We're going to be doing some more calls, answering your questions. The link should be below if you want to schedule a call with me. I'd love to talk to you. And uh, before we get to the call, I noticed in my, in my, my YouTube metrics that only 8% of my viewers and I don't have the stats for the screen, but only 8% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're watching the video and you're not subscribed, subscribe. It helps me out and I'll put out more content for you uh, and let us know if you want anything specific and I'll try and get to you, okay? So I'm done with rambling. Let's get to the, the call with Mr. Rohit. Uh. Rohit, nice to meet you. Thank you for uh, scheduling a call. It's great to, to speak with you today. Where are you calling from? Likewise here. I'm calling from India. Great. So uh, if you've seen uh, you've seen a couple of the videos and everything, you know how the calls go. You tell me a little bit about yourself and your business, and then I'll, I'll try and answer your questions. Sure. Um, so uh, I'm trying to open a business um, in USA, um, and it is going to be a mobile applications business. Um, and uh, my um, main revenue that will come in will be from um, in-app revenue. That is the in-app, um, you know, ad revenues that comes in, and also through advertisement revenue. Um, and uh, this will um, in-app revenue will primarily come from um, the um, Google um, companies, Google and Apple, uh, iOS and Android. And um, the advertisement revenue will come from um, different sources. So there are some companies um, situated in the USA. There are some companies situated outside the USA. So it will be um, from uh, coming from Europe and uh, Middle East as well, and some from the US. So um, I wanted to know, like, you know, uh, what type will be better for me um, to set up a company. Um, because I will not be having any um, offices in the U.S. I'll be working um, from India and uh, yeah, will not be having any physical presence. So um, one more thing is this is a startup. So um, I will be raising VC fund uh, funding in the future. So um, I want to be able to do that as well. Okay. So you want to get, you want to raise venture capital money and you, uh, also, okay. So you need, you want to sell convertible notes and stocks and things like that. So you can raise capital, right? Um, yes, in the future, but, um, you know, if that in, in, in the start, um, you know, I do not really have much funds in, in the beginning. Um, all the revenue that will be coming in will be from the in-app purchases and stuff. And, um, depending on how the business goes, um, you know, I want to be able to have the option of uh, raising funds if needed in the future. Okay, so uh, what what kind of app is it? I'm just curious. So, so it is, um, so first app will be a gaming app. So it's a game. Have you, have you, have you, done, have you started yet or are you just starting it all right now? Um, well, um, about uh, almost completed um, actually, you know, um, I'll be launching it soon say about a month or so. Oh, great. The App Store and the Google Play Store. Yeah. What kind of what kind of game? I know it's not a part of your questions. I'm just curious. <laughs> sure. No problem. Um, it is um, a um, ping pong game, uh, a table tennis game. Cool. So, yeah, um, it will be um, launching in the iOS and in the Android um, store as well. I talked to a guy from uh, from I don't know, it might have been Argentina, and he was making games on on Steam. And he made this okay. like this like horror game, and it was terrifying. So I, look, I was looking at him like, okay. <laughs> In any case, right. let me let me answer your question. So, uh -huh. uh, an, L an LLC, because obviously, it, not obviously, but it comes between. If you've been watching videos, the a corporation mm -hmm. or an LLC, right? Those are the yep. the real the main options you have as a as someone who wants to run a real business. So, between the corporation and the LLC, there's distinct differences. The LLC is easier to start and operate. Less legal documents. It's very simple. And you know you'd be the owner, and you can get rolling right away. The corporation mm -hmm. is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more complicated. It's a U.S. person. You have to pay taxes in the U.S. and it's and it's different for you because technically in India you would have to pick up and pay taxes on the income from your LLC in India. 
but the mm -hmm. corporation uh, is, a, is a little bit different because the corporation is going to pay taxes in the United States. And you have okay. to make sure that you uh, do it, set it up right and you operate it right in India and don't have any presence in India so that you can um, not pay taxes in India on, on, that, on that company since it has U.S. source income. It get, right. So the, the benefit of the corporation is that it has stock and shares and you can issue convertible notes because convertible notes, are the most uh, capital raises are done like that where it's like a loan that they have the option to convert into stock if they want to. Otherwise, they can call the loans. So that's how many um, VCs and everyone set up their their financing. So you have those options with a with a corp. It's, you can still collect money with an LLC. It's just not as easy because you have no stock. Right. So yeah, um, I, I have done a little bit of research myself, and um, you know, I have a, a high level overview of um, you know, about a C corp and an LLC. Uh, my main question um, here is, you know, um, of course, I've seen some videos and, um, you know, everyone's been saying that um, if you want to raise VC capital, VC funding in the future, um, a Delaware C Corp is the best option for you because it has a lot of um, history and uh, whatnot. So um, that's what, um, you know, I what, what I want to know is um, suppose if I um, start with NetLC now and um, see how it goes. And if I need the funding afterwards, is it possible for me to convert the LLC into a C-Corp in the future down the road? Yeah, you could, depending on what state, I know Delaware can, it's, it's kind of expensive. It'd be easier just to open another corp and contribute the LLC to the corporation. I mean, if you're, if you're about to get serious funding, then you, you should be able to invest in hiring an attorney to do it the right way anyway. So there's an, always an answer. In the US, there's always an answer. There's always a fix. There's always a way to to adjust to make uh, make things worth it. If a VC or someone is interested in investing in you, they're not going to let your legal structure get in the way. They're just going to have to fix it first. Right. And um, is it, um, um, how, how difficult is it, um, you know, to convert from an LLC into a C Corp? Um, does it take a lot of time or, you know, you said it's expensive, but um, like how expensive? Uh, we used to do it the other way for our time. We opened corporations and then we would convert them to LLCs. Uh, I don't know. It's like 1500 bucks maybe. Although it's like $1,000 of state fees. So it was, oh, like, it was kind of expensive because you have to close the company and then reopen another company and then do a transfer document. You need to have the right documents in place. It's not... It, depending on the state, it, it's not a, a simple thing. That's why I said I would rather just open another company than convert it. There's no, okay. there's no, there's no need to convert it. Just keep the LLC and put it underneath the corporation as just like another company. Okay, so um, I have a couple of questions as well. If you don't mind answering those. No, that's why we're here. Sure. Thanks. Um. Okay. So. The, I know there is a tax treaty um, between India and US, USA. Um, so if it's an LLC, I will not have to pay any taxes if I'm not having a physical presence in, um, in the United States and I would have to pay um, taxes in India. Um, there are some companies that you know, do require some forms, um, some W8BEN or um, you know, W8BENE. Um, but it says over there, um, you know, if, if uh, you do not have any um, active U.S. income, you would not need any of these forms. So um, if suppose I um, start with the C Corp directly, um, these would not, the tax treaty would not apply to me. Is that correct? The tax treaty, when you say like apply or, or whatever, the tax treaty doesn't... Um, it, it just it's just an outline in the application of how the company or the two countries will impose tax on businesses so it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't like um it, i don't know if it would necessarily speak on the subject that you just mentioned because that's more u.s tax rules and how you apply the u.s tax code where you have um no u.s source no u.s um no u.s business no business physically located in the united states uh, it depends on how you how you intend to operate. I don't know if applications, if you give it, if you send it to Google and they're and they're using it, then you have a U.S. business. I think it's all digital, so I don't really think it would be. But the I'm open, I'm looking at the treaty right now. The 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 articles in the treaty. Let me share my screen so we can do this. 
Mm -hmm. The articles in the treaty here, you see this, right? Uh huh. So taxes covered, residents, permanent establishment is really the the big thing here, and that determines where one company is doing business and where the other one is. And for term purpose of this convention, permanent establishment means a fixed fixed place of business. And that would be the place of management, branch, office, workshop, all of these things. This is something that I've I've like been thinking about a lot is that when a US the when a foreign person has a US corporation um, and everything's located outside of the US, if the if you would if the company would have permanent establishment in, in India. And it's kind of confusing. Usually uh, companies are opened to make us make a, a like a, a block between the two countries activities. So mm -hmm. it's kind of it's kind of confusing. That's something I don't necessarily know the answer to yet. So back to your actual question, because I'm, I'm rambling a little bit. Your question was uh, about the source of income and the withholdings. So right. Um, what What's happening right now is some companies are and let me stop sharing. Some companies, some companies are withholding taxes on payments to foreign individuals and foreign, uh, and, uh, like like yourself, when they shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. They should only be withholding taxes on royalty payments, in which case, doubt like actually they would probably withhold taxes on if you have an LLC because you're giving them they're paying you royalties to use your application, right? They would probably consider those royalty payments. So they do it for book sales with Amazon. I imagine they'll do it for app sales for uh, the Apple Store and also for Google because these these uh, are also kind of conservative companies because they're so watched by the IRS. So they'll probably consider those royalties. And if you have an LLC, they withhold 30%. If you have a corporation, they won't withhold uh, that 30%. So it probably is better for you to use a corporation. Okay. Um... All right, that answers my question. Now, um, another thing over here is, um, um, what if I set it up like you know um, an LLC in the USA, and then another company in my country, um, which is receiving payments from that company, um, and there is a um, um, a scheme uh, in India for startups. Um, they they don't if if you apply for the startup and if it gets um, approved. Um, it depends totally on the government. Um, you do not really have to pay taxes for um, three years or until you reach a certain um, level of revenue. So I'm thinking of applying um, to that startup um, scheme as well, but um, it to totally depends upon the application and what, you, what you're trying to do and um, stuff like that. So um, what will be, um, you know, your, um, you know, advice on that? Um, interesting. It depends. I guess there's a couple of questions. It depends how they determine how Apple and Google determines app um, payments, if they call them royalties or not, and if they intend to withhold taxes or not, because if they do, it's 30% taxes already off the top. And then you would still probably have to pay taxes in India. So you might end up paying a lot of taxes if you, uh, with with uh, with an LLC and if they consider them royalties. If they don't consider them royalties, an LLC would be great and the tax uh, perks would be great. So that's a really big question to figure out the answer to. And then if they do consider royalties and you decide to use a corporation, you need to figure out how you can pay money to your, uh, like reduce the income in your corporation and bring it to India and then use the tax credits that you have. Okay, um, I'm just gonna share my screen over here if you don't mind. Um... Are you able to see it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now this is um, from Google itself. Um, this is the contracting entities Google, and it has some um, stuff over here. It says that we rarely withhold the United States federal income tax on admin payments. How we may be required to withhold up to thirty percent from publishers in these situations if you are subject to backup withholding, as described in W nine. Um, will this apply to me? Uh, you wouldn't do a W-9. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like they would withhold. Uh, they would withhold thirty percent on you. Okay, even if it's an LLC. I mean, if you if you fill out the W nine and tell them you're a U.S. person, they won't withhold. But it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the correct thing to do. But if you did that, uh, they wouldn't withhold. Okay. Um, have you like encountered some um, clients um, from Google or you know mobile applications getting the payment withhold, withheld with uh, Google or Apple? Yeah. Uh, well, mostly with Amazon. I saw it with YouTube. They were starting to withhold on creators from outside the country. But what a lot of people are doing is just sending a W-9 without any kind of proof. They'll use the EIN number and say it's a U.S. person. Trust me. And then they, the apps just do it. So it's not right because you're not, you're not paying taxes in the U.S. You're not a U.S. person. But if you give them a W-9, they'll probably accept it. Okay. Um, there's also this um, mention over here. Um, you see this point over here? You have signed a declaration of no U.S. activities. So um, it says it. that... Yeah, what does that say? Click it. What, is, what does it take us? Yeah. Um, so it basically says that... says that you, if you do not have an office or something in the U.S. Um, or... Yeah, I don't I, see that's that's confusing. Even if you do this, they still might withhold because I don't know if they're going to con consider royalties. They've been very, very conservative about this. I don't find these with these payments to be uh, re I don't think re re withholdings required. Like I don't withhold on payments I make to people outside the US. And I think it's a, a little aggressive for them. I have a video I made in the past about uh, a guy who was getting paid for services from Nike and Adidas and only one company was withholding 30%, the other company wasn't. So it's something that, um, you know, it's something that's not um, like consistently administered like between companies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'll probably have to, um, you know, probably speak to some um, Google chat or something like that um, and see what exactly this is um but as far as i understand it says that you know if you sign the declaration uh, of you know foreign publisher with no u.s activities um uh, you don't really you, they don't really with, withhold the taxes it looks like that but at the top it looks like they will so it's kind of confusing okay okay oh, no problem um okay and um i um yeah so my um so you have a clarity on on what i'm trying to do here um so what do you think the best option for me uh will be um is to start with an llc and then later on convert to c corp or start with a c corp I, I wouldn't i wouldn't do a conversion it's too much work it's not worth it uh find out if they're going to withhold taxes and if they're not going to withhold taxes then use an llc it's easier and then you can take your credits in india and hopefully get your startup exemption in india that would be the best. But if they're going to withhold taxes, consider using a corp because then you can keep 30% of your sales. Right. Okay. Or I guess the last uh, idea could be um, use an LLC and just fill out a W-9 incorrectly and just tell them you're a U.S. person. Oh, um, so I I'll be getting an EIN. I think um, the EIN is taking longer than usual nowadays um, because of the whole pandemic thing. Um, but I will not have I-10, I-10, I guess. Um, so is that difficult to apply? Yeah, it's it's a, it's more com it's more complicated. Sure. Okay. All right. Mm, okay. Just give me one second. Okay. So. Um, Suppose if I am trying to raise funds, um, um, not at least 12 months from now, um, after starting the company, um, what do you suggest in that case? What was your question? I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, so suppose, um, uh, you know, I'll not be raising any funds, VC funds or such, um, at least till 12 months from starting the company. 
So um, in that case, do you, um, you know, suggest I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really concerned about the fundraising because you're not doing it yet. I'm more concerned about uh, operating, making some money first. And if you're making money right away, uh, like it's all comes down to the withholding. If you, you have to figure out if they're going to withhold uh, on an LLC and if they don't, then LLC would probably be easier and a lot cheaper and you pay less taxes and you know, you could scale faster. It'd just be easier. And then if you need a corp, you can open one later, but if they're going to withhold, you should just open a corporation now. Okay. So I'll just get that thing clear first. Um, okay. All right. Um, and um, one final question here. Um, is it is it um, um, better to open LLC in the same in the same state, um, like Delaware? Um, you know, uh, if, if I'm going to open uh, or you know maybe convert to a C corp later on or open a C corp um, later on in the same state like Delaware. Um, should I go for Delaware? Because I think Delaware has really high fees, um, some $300 or something. And if I go for Wyoming, it's $50. So would it be better to um, you know, open the LLC directly in Delaware uh, rather than Wyoming? It's the same, it's the same thing. If you want to save a little bit of, a little bit of money uh, that you could use Wyoming, they're, they're different states, but the, the tax rules are applied the same across the states. And it only costs like a hundred dollars to register a Delaware LLC. It's just $300 to renew it. And it's a little cheaper to renew a Wyoming LLC. A lot of people use Wyoming. If you, if you want to save $200 and you don't care to have a Delaware company, then you can use Wyoming. Right, and um, suppose if I do want um, a corporation, a Delaware corporation, um, how easy is it to like, you know, um, I mean, if suppose we go that route, if we are converting later on from an LLC into a C Corp, how easy is it to change state of incorporation? You can't change the state of incorporation. You only incorporate, you have to open, you, you, it's, there's only one state of incorporation. You only, you can only incorporate the first time. Okay, great. All right. Um, I think that's all the questions I have now. Um, do you have any other suggestions? Um, you know, any final suggestions for me? Yeah, a focus on making an awesome application and, and making sales and focus on all that stuff. It's the most important thing is having a good app that makes makes money and then getting the money to yourself is is important too. But if there's no money to get to yourself, this is all spinning wheels yeah, that's, for reason, right? That, that's the um that's the main reason I'm um you know opening um a, a company in the US because there are a lot of charges um you know while uh, if if these companies there are about 15 resources 15 sources where I'll be getting my income from so um you imagine paying um it, um you know um, international wire transfer fees for every, um, you know, transactions, um, you know, and then the conversion fees uh, from USD to Indian rupee. And then on top of that, tax as well will be charged. So there's a lot of, um, you know, deductions that happen. So that's why yeah. I, I want to um, have a bank account um, in the US so I can do all my transactions from there. Um, do you have any, um, I, I'm at, I, I actually um, went through and did some research and I found that Mercury is a good option for me. What do you think? Yeah, Mercury is the, the, the bank people use. It's a great online bank. Okay, great. And um, how, how long is it taking the EIN um, nowadays? Um, like two over months. A month or so? Like a month and a half. They say 45 days. Some take two months, some take longer. Okay. And um, if, if I like, you know, want to go um, choose you as my um, tax partner and, you know, do all the taxes for me. So do you provide that service alone as well? Yeah. If you just open your company now, you just got to reach out to us next year and we will uh, help you with the tax forms. Okay. I believe it's just a 5542 or something. The, the tax form I have to do if I'm... Um, opening an LLC, is that correct? 5472, but yeah, I have a lot of videos on that as well. And a course that uh, is out showing people how to do it themselves. All right, great. All right, um, I think uh, you've answered um, a lot of my questions, you know, um, and um, yeah, I have a little bit of clarity right now. And 
I will definitely be reaching out to you in the future and, you know, we can um, do business together. Great, great. Thanks for your uh, for your time and for uh, coming on the call. And uh, best of luck to you. We'll, we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Have a nice okay. day. Bye-bye. Bye. So that call went really well. Uh, it was great to talk to Rohit. He has some great ideas and he has some good things he's doing. I think that um, it all comes down to whether Google is going to be withholding the taxes or not. That's something that we haven't really been getting clarity on. Things change so fast in the U.S. right now. These companies make sweeping decisions and I'm not sure how they make their decisions. Google support is pretty poor, to be honest, and they, and they don't really give too much information. He showed, he brought up a page there that I thought was contradictory at the beginning. It said, we're going to withhold if this or that. And at the end, they said, we won't withhold if this or that. So uh, hopefully we get some clarity on that soon. Like I said, we had the, the that great call with the guy who was doing the same service for Nike and Adidas. One company withhold taxes, the other didn't. And that's just the best example of how uh, the withholdings in the U.S. are just done inconsistently at all levels. So uh, if you like the call, I hope, you, I hope you did. Please give me that thumbs up. It's helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. I noticed that only like 8% of the people viewing these videos are actually subscribed. So it'd be great if you could subscribe to the video. We'd love to have you uh, be uh, updated when we have new stuff coming out. I'm back in the, in the lab, so I'm going to be making more videos for you guys. I have some stuff coming up about, uh, about sales taxes and Amazon and e-commerce because that seems to be uh, pretty popular. And um, check out our new website, mbtaxconsultants.com. It should be in the description below. We have uh, new courses on there, some new information. And thanks again for showing up for the channel and showing up. And uh, we'll be in touch. I'll see you at the next video. Thanks.